Welcome to Don't Panic Gaming, I'm your boy Panic. On this channel we'll be covering the latest gaming news and updates, reviews, let's plays, and guides like this one. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. So here we are in a sandbox. We'll go ahead and start off by putting in some toilets. Put in a few showers. I'll make sure they stay nice and clean. And we'll put in some sinks. Now make sure you wash your hands. We're going to need a liquid storage. I'll put that right there. And lastly, we're going to need a water sieve. Okay. Go ahead and throw on our piping. We'll connect our inputs. Like so, and we'll connect the uh, showers, connect our outputs, and our outputs up here. And you want to make sure that you connect your piping with this pattern here. Instead of going all the way across like so, you want to make sure you make this pattern because the purpose of that is it'll your water will will filter in a lot more evenly because if you do it this way it'll go to each uh it goes like the sink and stop it'll go to the next sink stop go to the next sink stop and it'll make it a lot it'll slow the process down but this way it'll be a lot smoother so we'll go ahead and connect our inputs together like that go ahead and connect the output we'll run this down to our liquid storage and at this section we're going to need a liquid bridge Go ahead and spin that around a thousand times. Slap that in there like that. And we'll connect this section here. Connect this here. And the purpose of liquid bridge is once our pipe fills up with water and our liquid storage starts backing up with polluted water, you're going to need somewhere for that excess polluted water to go. So it's totally up to you where you send it. You can send this like an extra tank. You can like have like an extra reservoir built, but what I like to do, and I, I think it's more efficient, is to build some hydroponic farms and I'll plant some thermal reeds. Because our thermal reeds, they like polluted water. We'll go ahead and plant those. That'll be a nice little place to center up extra polluted water. Nice little trick I like to do. We'll go ahead and run our extra piping. Here comes our assistance to plant our new crops. We'll go ahead and fix our directions on our toilets. I mean our sinks. Okay. Now, it's totally up to you how you get your water to fill your pipes. But I like to go ahead and do like a little water trap here. Throw that down. Throw on a liquid pump. You can get it from your main reservoir. Or you can do this little trick that I, I like to do. Put in a bottle opener. Go ahead and select water. And then you'll do enable auto bottle to have your dupes when you're in the real game to fill in some water. Going to need some power. And get some pipes. I'll go ahead and cheat myself some water here. Okay, that's a neat little trick to fill in your pipes faster. We'll also go ahead and start filling everything in for you. And see how it's going spreading out evenly? Instead of going through each one stopping. That's exactly what you want to see. Alright, here comes our first dupe to use the restroom. Oh, they really gotta go. I guess they've been holding for a while. There you go. Using the toilets and come out using the sinks. And you'll see your polluted water come out. We'll go ahead and connect our water sieve. Okay. And then once this backs up, you'll see it come out through the, um, the overflow. And then it'll start feeding your thermal reed farms. And that's a nice little way to build up your resources so you can start getting your suits. 
And then once your pipes are all full, you can go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of that, we don't need it. Go ahead and clean this water up. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then you have what you're left with is a nice little self-contained bathroom. You never have to worry about wasting any water. You never have to worry about getting extra water from the reservoir. It's all nice. It stays a nice little loop here. And that's all she wrote. So if this guy was helpful, consider please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.